how to create an Easter word search puzzle using software called Word Search Printer, which you can download from wordsearchprinter.com. Okay, so what I do is I click Create New Word Search Project, uh, and I have a choice of which template I'd like to use. I can use a blank one, I can use different um, topics here, for example, if I go in holidays, there is actually an Easter template, which I'll show you later, but I'll create one from scratch using the blank template and actually my own words. So, uh, first of all, I have a blank screen here, I have space printing my words, and I can choose the puzzle size. So let's enter just one word to start with Easter. What it'll do is it create a grid of letters with the word Easter hidden in it. And um, if I update the puzzle, it will move around to different places, generate a different puzzle each time. All right, not so clever when it's just one word, but I can add more words. So, for example, I can add bunny, I could add egg, I could add chocolate, I could add um, Sunday, cross. So that I could create more and more words relating to Easter here. Now you'll see here, um, I can actually, I'll still be able to fit if it was a 9 by 9 puzzle. And I can try different arrangements as well. Um, uh, I can customise what's previewed here. This is obviously showing the solution. I could just look at the puzzle and customise the um, colours um, used for this. So for example, what highlighting is used, what uh, colours are used for the answers and the puzzle. Um, and when I'm happy with it, I can um, either print it out directly, I'll do a print preview, and the program will print you a puzzle, um, the word list, and the solution. Or I can copy the elements that I need to to the clipboard using the copy menu, for example, copy the puzzle, the solution, or the word list, and paste them into my publishing program. So if I'm creating a magazine, or a newsletter, or even a book, I could um, use this uh, puzzle as part of that. Um, there are also tools here for manipulating this word list, like sorting it, deleting items, adding new items, and so on, which I, I won't really um, go into too much detail for. One other thing I should mention here, uh, as well as the um, formatting, I can also change the word directions and the shape of the puzzle. So, for example, word directions. Um, standard puzzle can have words in any direction, including diagonals, backwards, up the page, down the page, and so on. If you're making a puzzle for young children, you might, for example, decide not to use um, diagonals, because that's a bit hard to see the words. And perhaps you might, very young children, you might have, not have right to left and uh, bottom to top. So you could, for example, limit it to only using these two directions for words, make an easier puzzle, or you could turn in all the directions on. And I can change the puzzle size, make a bigger grid. I don't actually need to do that in this particular case. Obviously the puzzle needs to be big enough to fit the words on, so for example if I made it this, the words simply don't fit on a 5 by 5 puzzle, the longest word here in this case is 9 by 9, 9 letters, so I need a minimum of a 9 by 9 puzzle. Um, one other thing that I can do as well is also change the um, shape of the puzzle. If I go here, um, I can turn on and off squares and make a, a puzzle, so for example on Easter I might decide to, I'm probably not a great artist, so um, apologies. I could uh, at least uh, try to make uh, this, maybe this is not so brilliant an idea. I'm going to try and make an egg-shaped puzzle. So I'm just turning off squares until I get a roughly a, a egg shape, something like that, maybe. Um, maybe I should turn these ones off. Something like an egg. Okay. Obviously, if I had more time, I could do it a bit more carefully. Um, and there's my egg-shaped puzzle, and I'm trying to put the word in there. In this case, it probably can't fit chocolate in any way apart from vertically. And I've still got only up-down combinations allowed. So um, if I change the word directions to allow more directions, it might be a few more variations. Okay, so there you are. That's how you create an Easter uh, puzzle. And if I show you the uh, Easter template, uh, I won't save this one. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go back here use the ready-made Easter template, select it, and that's already got a lot more words in a bigger grid. Uh, um, and again, I can use that as it is, I could delete it, so for example I could delete the word crucifix, uh, and I could add my own words in as well. Um, and you can customise the puzzle using that, copy them into your publishing program, and create your own um, highly customised Easter word search puzzle using the software. The software is called Word Search Printer, Website's wordsearchprinter.com. Uh, the software is compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC, including uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. 
Um, it's easy to use and there's a free trial version so you can download and try out the program before deciding if it's for you and there's full instructions with the program although as you can see it's so simple to use you don't even really need instructions. Thank you very much, hope you enjoyed the video. So go to wordsearchprinter.com, download the free trial and give it a go. I hope you like it, I think you will.